everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a very long time since I've sat down here and talked to you in a way that wasn't also involved in some kind of vlog but yeah hi how are you I've missed you guys what have you been up to let me know I recently just came back from Florida I spent some time over there and went to the theme parks so I had a really great trip and I wanted to share with you guys the things that I bought while I was over there. I didn't buy a whole ton of things because, I don't know, I was very restrained. There were lots of things that I could have bought, but then I told myself, no, I won't buy that. I was also very aware that I'm going to Disneyland Paris um, in March, so I thought to myself, I can buy things. Then it won't be exactly the same, but it'll be similar merchandise. So yeah, there was a lot of things that I was like, mm when I came to buying it and I thought I would have just been buying it for the sake of buying it had I actually bought that in the end. So yeah, not a whole ton here really in comparison to like some people's hauls where they bring back a lot of merchandise but still a decent amount. I went to both Universal and Disney Parks so I do have things from both of those to show you. With Universal, the majority of the things I bought uh, was just one specific type of thing and then I bought uh, gifts for my boyfriend. I don't have them physically on me right now, I've already given them to him but I did film clips of them. Um, I bought him two things from the Spongebob store that they have there. They have a whole ton of Spongebob stuff and he's a big big Spongebob fan and I was sending him pictures and videos while I was walking around and I sent him I think a picture or a video of an area that had like Gary plushes, Gary the snail from Spongebob and he was so excited about it so I did get him a Gary the snail, I'll pop that on the screen somewhere, somehow, but yeah and his eyes move which is pretty cool. Uh, I also while I was at the till just purchasing Gary found some pins, some Spongebob pins with like all of the characters on there, um, apart from Squidward I believe he's not on there, but I thought it was pretty cool because I mean I like pins, we all know this. So I thought, oh, that'd be nice, he could get into pins. Um, obviously they're not Disney pins that I bought him, but uh, it's fine. I just thought that, you know, he could do what he likes with them. He doesn't need to just store them away like I do. He could put them on clothes and things like that, or just, I don't know, I just thought he would like them. And he did really like them quite a lot. So um, those were the things that I got for him. And then the rest of the things that I bought for myself, I was very, very restrained for the things that I did buy in this tiny little universal bag. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's pins. I don't even collect universal pins, but apparently I do now. I'll show you the ones that aren't uh, Harry Potter first, I guess. Um, and then I'll go on to the ones that are. So, um, I bought two pins that have like the universal logo. Um, I bought this one. Uh, let's see if that will focus. There we go. I liked it. I really liked the little skyline of like different attractions that they have. I liked the colour scheme and the general overall look of the pin. It just says Universal Studios and I thought it was really cool. Um, I then also decided to pick up this one. May have regrets about this one now but it's fine. It, I have it. Um, it's this Universal Studios pin which has uh, the Universal Studios clapperboard in the middle with the Universal Earth logo and then on the outside it has Spider-Man and Hulk. I do like Marvel now but I mostly got it because we did ride those two rides, the Hulk and Spider-Man. Those two aren't even my favourite superheroes out of the MCU. I I don't know, I guess I attached it to a memory but now coming home I'm like why did I buy that? Anyway, I have it now. And then one that I do like which I did see um, at one point in one of the shops and I was like I need that and then we couldn't find it and I had a panic in the big Universal store, um, I think it's in City Walk, I don't remember. I love The Simpsons, like a lot. I watched it every single day growing up and I just think it's great and we went to the Simpsons area that they have. Um, we went on The Simpsons ride which some people don't like. I enjoyed it, I thought it was fun and they have a pin for that which says best vacation ever and they're on the ride that is the ride that features in The Simpsons ride. So I thought that was a fun one and now I do have four Harry Potter pins to show you. So I'll show you the first one, which is this one, which is the elevator dial thingy <laughs> that they have for the Gringotts ride. So if you've ever been to Harry Potter, or you don't really know what Harry Potter is, um, first of all, where have you been? <laughs> Second of all, uh, Gringotts is a bank that features in the Harry Potter series, and they turned it into a ride at Universal. 
um, and obviously Gringotts, if you don't know about it, it's very very deep underground and the ride features a lift that you have to go down um so that's that dial that tells you a bit like i guess tower of terror where it tells you like how far down you're going um but it starts off as deep deeper extraordinarily deep even deeper again bottom so i thought that was fun and then i've got i don't have a uh, hogwarts house one yet but i finally got one for mine um yes i have a slytherin could you tell probably not um a lot of people always think that i'm a hufflepuff um but i'm actually a slytherin presenting as a hufflepuff to people i don't know once you get to know me i'm a slytherin but yeah i liked this pin it's sparkly because it has the snake on there it's very regal and decadent but all of them are so that's my first slytherin pin uh i got this pin which was hogwarts i just liked the style of it and the colors i thought it was quite different to a lot of the other Harry Potter pins that you can get. I always find that Harry Potter has quite a dark colour scheme. It's not going to focus, is it? It's quite bright. Uh, but this one has quite light colours and I like the general look of it. So yeah, that's that pin. And then across the UK, it's a thing we have where we have these like vintage looking travel posters to um, talk about different places and they had one for Hogsmeade um they had one that was like on the merchandise and then like t-shirts and stuff and I was like I don't really want that I just want a pin I couldn't see the pin at first and then they did have the pin which is this one which I thought was quite cool is it gonna focus there you go but yeah it's just got the little Hogsmeade please respect the spell boundaries um sign and then Hogsmeade above the top so that was all I bought from Universal literally pins and then things that were not for me so that's that side of things now let's move on to disney which is the side that i get very excited about when i see people do hauls i'll start off with the free things first i guess things that i got given by cast members or i guess something that i did get free with something that i did pay for oh actually back to universal um we had an express pass we stayed at a hotel royal pacific pacific royal i get confused royal pacific it's on it's on the card um this was the express pass slash room key um and it's got my name on and it was minions and it's really cool it does have my name spelt wrong on there though my name is harriet with one t not two but we move um but yeah that was quite cool getting to flash that <laughs> at all the rides and being like mm -hmm, and just skipping through all of the queue um likewise uh i also have one from disney world um i use this as my room key and my entrance pass because i don't have a magic band don't really vibe with them to be honest but yeah this is the special 50th anniversary ones with the iridescent and it's got like a little vintage mini she's got her little hat on with her flower instead of her bow so i thought that was really cute i was very pleased to get mini for that one stickers are something that you can collect across disney world from different cast members um and yeah we collected a, a few mickey another mickey mickey but his full body I don't remember where this one's from but it's Minnie and Mickey um ice skating which is quite cute um and then these ones I believe we got from a DVC booth I'm pretty sure we got it from Hollywood Studios um so these ones are for the Riviera Resort <laughs> they're not gonna focus are they um but yeah it's just got Minnie and Mickey in the top one and then it's a skyliner with beauty and the beast on it bell and beast so that was quite cool and then something we discovered well jenna my friend who you will see in the vlogs discovered uh on a tiktok one time was the buses disney trans transportation give out stickers tokens and um travel transport cards i don't really know what that one is but she asked somebody that she knew at the time who worked on Disney Transportation and they were like yeah that's true so she got given some so I've got stickers that she gave me one of them says honorary bus driver and the other one is just Disney Transport which is quite cool and then that's the token that you can get from them um, and then the other side is just like a wheel I thought that's quite cool so um, if you have kids or you're just like collecting things that you wouldn't usually be able to get um, if you bought it or whatever um, from people. If you want to just make connections with cast members, see what they might give you. They might give you something for free, like a little sticker or something, a little keepsake to have um, as a little memory. 
I think that's quite nice and just talking to cast members in general and I'm sure it would make their day as much as they make yours if you just went up to them and had a little conversation um even if it's literally just a hey can I have a sticker and then another thing I got technically for free but I did pay for the experience we went to Hollywood and Vine to um get the Fantasmic dining package and something that they used to do post covid before characters were allowed to meet people properly and do signatures and stuff was give out these kind of cards that had signatures on already for the characters um so the back then has pictures of the characters that you meet so we met Minnie, Mickey, Goofy and Pluto and something else I really enjoyed was Festival of the Arts this is the passport that you can pick up um well mostly at the front of the park but they do have them scattered around if you ask a cast member at one of the booths maybe they'll have one um but yeah this is the festival that they run at Epcot at the moment from January the 13th to February 20th so not very long at all but yeah in here it tells you about the festival um and about different offerings like entertainment the merchandise um the food and it's got stuff at the back for kids to do as well but yeah it's got all of the menu items in here all of the performers for the Disney on Broadway series I saw these guys Cara Lindsay and Kevin Massey um who are married actually I didn't realize um I could have also seen Ariel and Adam Jacobs but I didn't end up staying late enough to watch so yes it's free and it tells you all about the festival and it's really cool to just have a keepsake of that really then so I've got lots of content coming for Festival of the Arts if you're interested it's probably gonna go up when Festival of the Arts has already happened let's be honest with you but you'll still get to see it anyway so it doesn't matter and then one other free thing that I got to do we went to Rafiki's Planet Watch at Animal Kingdom never been there before it's got a really cute little petting zoo area of for um like farm animals and stuff like that so if you want to take your kids to go look at some animals it's pretty fun and then they also have an area inside which is the animation academy and you get to learn how to draw an animal um they were advertising Zootopia, Zootopia? <laughs> Zootopia plus which is a disney plus series coming soon um at the time when i was there so we were mostly just drawing Zootopia characters the class before us did judy hopps um, and I don't remember who was coming after us, but we did Nick Wilde. So I'll show you what mine looks like if it will focus. This is my Nick Wilde. He was kind of difficult to draw, but also I found the clothes the hardest, I'm not going to lie. The clothes kind of remind me the way I've drawn him of um, the sloth flash. So we're just going to ignore that and focus on the face. I thought that was pretty good. And, you know if you want to learn how to draw um disney characters i would recommend that it's a really good time and it just is a nice way to spend like 10 15 minutes of your day relaxing drawing and having a cool little keepsake it doesn't matter if it's not amazing the guys like we're not looking for animators we just want you guys to just learn how to draw a character and have fun and just take time out of your day to do something that's not running around trying to find a ride to ride or a character to meet or food to eat so yeah i would recommend going to the animation academy at Rafiki's planet watch that's all the free things that i got something that i did buy right at the start of my trip when i checked into my disney resort was the resort mug this is really really handy it is 21.99 which i know what you're thinking it's a cup why is that so expensive but it does mean that you get free refills of hot and cold drinks from the beverage fountains that they've got across the resorts and it's really cool this is the 50th anniversary one and it's got mini mickey on it in their sort of cartoony style and then across the whole thing it's all of the resorts that you can stay at at disney world and it has obviously Walt disney world 50 um they had yellow tops or blue tops i decided to go with blue and then the mickey opens up that's where you drink out of and i thought that was really cool utilize that quite a lot and you don't have to just use it in the resort you're staying in we went resort hopping on one of the days that we were at disney world we went on the skyliner and went on all of the resorts for that so i used it when i was at those resorts as well would recommend buying one of these they're definitely worth your while and saves you buying drinks all the time and you can just get them free from the fountain it was very cold when i first got to orlando um the first day actually so the day i went to universal was very warm and then the first four days i was at disney world it was freezing and i did not bring enough layers <laughs> uh, so i ended up having to buy a couple of 
jumpers but I was going to buy them anyway but I just ended up wearing them <laughs> more than I expected to. The first one that I got was from the 50th anniversary vault collection at the Main Street cinema that they've got there and it is this one I saw everybody wearing actually so two of them actually I've seen the whole time I was there so very popular um, items of clothing but it's this gorgeous it's like a grey colour and it's got the, the vintage -y, like uh mickey and then it's got opens october 71 and then it has what disney world um florida and then along the side it has what disney world um but the castle you can't really see that properly but i thought it was a really cool item of clothing i really wanted it bought it pretty much as soon as i <laughs> um got into the parks the first weekend that i was there and i did end up wearing it then because i was cold but that was the first um, piece of clothing that I bought. Another one that I bought, I wore this one to death. I love it, it's so nice. It's a creamy colour with this bluey Walt Disney World um, logo uh, and the writing and then Mickey. They have lots of different colours of this. They had it in like a yellowy colour. Um, what else did they have it in? I can't remember. I really enjoyed this jumper and I saw a lot of people wearing it so I think it's a very popular item. The last one I got, was this one which is for Expedition Everest it's just this blue it's very lightweight it's more of a, like a t-shirty material than a jumper but on the side it has Expedition Everest here it has a little um, summit team um, and then it says taking adventures to new heights on it it's a navy colour on the back then it has um, I can't read that backwards <laughs> Everest summit gear and then it has the items that they have in the queue really and then at the bottom it says Ananda Ball which is obviously the town that they talk about a lot in the village I guess that they talk about a lot in the ride queue um, that is quite involved in the story of Everest. I mentioned Festival of the Arts just now they do have artwork that you can purchase when you are at the festival they have several different booths there that uh, have different people who've created different Disney artwork one of them that I adored was Ashley Taylor. I follow her on Instagram and she's got quite a few amazing prints on sale this year and I knew I wanted to get something of hers. Um, I found some set of four postcards. Um, I mostly got it for the Rapunzel one which is just here but it also has a really cute Tinkerbell one, Moana and then Cinderella. So I really love those. Um, I'll show you the, I'm not going to take it out but the Tinkerbell one is really cute so that's the kind of style of her artwork and then I found this piece of artwork which um, is quite a good size I'm not going to show you the front yet um, it was only $30 so a very good price and it's this which I hadn't seen this the first day that I was there but the second day I was there at Epcot um, I was with somebody and they took me over to this booth because they own some of these artworks already and it is Castaway Key now if you haven't really come across my channel before you might not know this but if you have then you will know i used to work for disney cruise line and castaway key was somewhere that we went every single week i used to work as a youth activities counselor so i got to work in the kids club on castaway key but this reminded me a lot of my time there because it had like the hammock and like the little beach area i'm pretty sure this is serenity bay but um it reminded me of the crew area that they have the crew beach area which is just next to serenity bay it has two buckets that one has Castaway Key logo on it and this one has Minnie and Mickey and then in the background they have the ship it doesn't have the specific ship name on there but I'm gonna say it's my ship which was the fantasy and I thought that was a really cute piece of artwork to commemorate my time on the ship with one last thing to talk about Festival of the Arts they have something called the expression section where you can do paint by numbers um, so you just have to go up to the cast member at the start of the time that they're doing the painting you can pick your own pot of paint but then towards the end they do give you specific colours that they need covering and you pick uh, a section that you want to paint with they give you a couple of squares a number of squares that you can paint uh, I think it was four when I was there so you could pick where you wanted to paint and then eventually your artwork will turn into a huge piece of mural and the one that was there while I was there was these figments and they give you this little bookmark to commemorate that which was pretty cool so that was another free thing that you could get from taking part in something at the festival of the arts at epcot so i would recommend that that's a really fun little experience to take part in and it's for everyone so if you want to take your little budding artists your little ones with you and do that that's quite fun 
Um, and then the last things I have to show you are pins. There's very, very large amount of pins here. Um, I have 27 <laughs> in total. I think that was including the Universal ones, I'm pretty sure. Or it might just be the Disney ones. I can't remember. So I have, um, I'm probably going to show you them like close up because I don't know how well it's going to work. You saw how well it did when I was showing you the Universal pins. So I'm going to have to probably do the same um, as I just did with the Nick Wilde picture that we got um, from Animation Academy and just show you them close up. Hello. I was said I was going to show you all the pins I bought and um, these were them. It's excessive, I'm aware. There is a lot of pins here. <laughs> so I guess I will show you them in a bit more detail at Clarice now. I think I'll start with like random pins and then I've got princess pins and then we've got parks pins. So I'll show you them one by one now. So random pins. I have this Big Hero 6 pin. Um, I love Big Hero 6. I think it's a great movie. And I don't have any pins for Big Hero 6 yet. And I thought this one was cool. I love Baywax anyway. And I just think he looks great in his little suit. He's got Hero with him too. So that's that pin. I love Peter Pan. I, it was one of my childhood favourites growing up. And I loved this pin. There's quite a few ones that they've got at the moment for Peter Pan. And I thought this one was really cool. They're flying over Neverland. Literally only just noticed Tink is with him. I didn't realise when I was buying the pin. But yeah, it's got the Jolly Roger here, the Neverland with Peter Pan flying over it with Tinks. I love Star Wars and I saw this pin and thought it was just so funny. It says Ewok Expeditions and then underneath it says Yub Nub. I guess it's kind of a bit like, I don't know, it reminds me of like summer camp. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just thought it was funny. So yeah, Ewoks. Why not? I'm going to add this to my Disney Cruise Line pins, but basically, if you've ever been on the Disney Dream or the Disney Fantasy, you'll know that there is a game that you can play around the ship called Midship Detective Agency. It's basically like an interactive game where, or I guess it's a bit like the Adventureland one and also the one that they used to do around Magic Kingdom, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, where you go around and like you have a card that you scan and it interacts with stuff in the area. Basically, it was that on the ship, but with like pictures and there was three different mysteries that you could solve. There was one with puppies, there was one with villains, and then there was one with the Muppets. So I, th I would get this pin because I thought it was pretty cool. They did have this on the ship, but um, I didn't end up buying it at the time, but I'm quite happy with it now. And I find it funny that they had it in Disney World, so that's that pin. I'm a big fan of Hercules. Um, it's my favourite Disney movie and for some reason recently they have just started by bringing in loads of Hercules pins. So I bought these. So these are the muses um, during the what say I'm in love scene which is what this is also from. So I find it quite funny that they also released these simultaneously at the same time. Hercules and Meg with the, uh, with the little flower that she has that he gave her. And then the muses, so I thought that was pretty cool. So those were the two Hercules pins I bought. And then this is the last sort of random pin that I've got, which is Chippendale. You know how much I love Chippendale. I've talked about them a lot. I have a lot of pins for them. And I have these two now, which I thought was pretty cute. They've just got their little, um, they don't look like acorns. <laughs> they look like peanuts. Oh well, yeah, they've got their little nuts and they're just having a great old time together so <laughs> i needed to add them to my collection basically so that's why i got these let's move on to princess pins i guess i bought quite a few pins for different princesses that i enjoy so there's this pin which is tiana in her little restaurant outfit from the start of the movie and i think she's adorable it's quite a small pin really it's not that big and it's quite thin but you never really see Tiana in this outfit very much on merchandise. So yeah, maybe they'll add more now that Tiana's place is going to be a thing. Similarly, I got a Belle to match, but Belle is in her blue dress, her village dress, and she's got her book. Um, so yeah, the same kind of style of pin. They have them for quite a few princesses, but I bought them for these two because I love them both very much. I've been looking at this pin for a while, um, and I have always bought it several times on eBay but they still have it around in the park so I thought I would finally get this. My first pin with just Eugene on. All of the pins that I have that have Eugene also feature Rapunzel or you know the rest of the gang so finally have this in my collection. I have Lumiere and Cogsworth because again like I said Beauty and the Beast 
one of my favorite princess movies uh it was my childhood favorite actually so had to get these two kind of the same kind of vibe as the chippendale one where i guess it's like duos so that was that pin and i bought these two pin sets they were quite expensive actually i would have bought the bell one too had they not been hold on a second 24.99 each but i wasn't that keen on the bell one but i did like these two um so the rapunzel one if it'll focus is just Rapunzel and she's got the lanterns around her and then it's got a pin that came with it that says let your light shine. I don't know how I feel about the pins with the writing on but I just wanted it for <laughs> this pin. It's quite big actually um, in comparison to normal pins that I've seen but I like it. And then this one <laughs> is gorgeous. The writing that um, Tiana says live your passion which I think is quite nice and it's got a water lily and then she's in this outfit which you never see her in again so I'm loving the Tiana representation on pins recently because there was a time where she wasn't really on anything so I'm really happy with this one and then the other pins that I have to show you are from pin sets I bought two of these and then one of these I hadn't seen this at all until I was in Animal Kingdom Lodge and they only had like two boxes left and I thought oh, I'll just buy the one but um on the side it's princesses if it'll focus please focus I can't really move my hand to focus it because then the pins will fall over like portraits the princesses with like things sort of from their story in the background um and there was two in here I'll show you which two I got I got Aurora and she's beautiful her eyes I think are purple as well which is quite cool and she's in like a classic dress usually they put her in the one that's like in the parks these days but she's got her original dress that you still that she always wears i also got miss tiana with her restaurant in the background and the pretty little bayou flowers around the outside i think she looks great so that's another one that i got of tiana this trip so that was pretty lucky um i'll get the other box out for you in a second hold on this was the other one that i got with the stained glass windows on the side i ended up buying two boxes of these so i got four of them in total i got this one twice which is the beast in beast form with the rose the other two that i got in here are the beast as a prince when he was younger in human form and then the enchanted uh objects um but as humans again so you've got cogsworth from here chip and mrs potts so i thought that was really cute i was kind of hoping to get um bell <laughs> somewhere along the line for the castle but it's fine I ended up getting the beast several times and then his furniture so that was in that mystery box set now the other things I've got to show you are par park pins pins I picked up based on something to do with the parks so I'll show you this one at first which is my Caribbean Beach Resort pin which is the resort that I stayed at uh, like many other people that visit the Disney parks I collect pins for the hotels that I stay at so this is the one for Caribbean Beach nice and colourful it's got Minnie and Mickey on it and I think it's really cute so that's that one I picked up this one from the Vault collection it's the one that looks like the license plate I think and it's got the sort of old style cartoony uh, versions of the Fab Five and then obviously the old Disney World logo and then I think that's the castle in the background and then for the 50th I got this pin originally which was the 50th Minnie and Mickey pin and then I found this one in the Frontierland pin shop which originally when I saw it is a spinner it just had Mickey and I was like oh that's quite cool because it has on the outsides the four parks which I thought was really cool but I could see that it's spun and I wanted to know what was on the other side so it's got this which I think I prefer to the Mickey so when I display it I'm gonna have it on this side with the castle because um, I didn't get anything with the 50th castle and the iridescence other than Minnie and Mickey which I like better than the Mickey side so no offence Mickey <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping it on that side so that's that pin for the 50th anniversary as well obviously for Festival of the Arts that to get a pin for that although it's quite annoying because it literally has nothing on here at all about Festival of the Arts other than the backing like it's literally just figment but it says create your own magic the merch this year was very limited, hardly anything, literally just figment. Um, and then this whole create your own magic thing. And I was really disappointed 
because I love the pins and this was the only pin that they had for, for the Festival of the Arts really. I got a 2023 pin because uh, obviously I visited Disney World in 2023. It's got Mickey and then some stuff in the background. I think actually oh it's got the park icons that makes sense <laughs> it's like I could only see two I could see Tower of Terror and I can see the castle and I realized the tree of life is there too and so is the Epcot ball but um yeah I quite like this vibe that they've got going on um they had a couple of other characters but I liked the Mickey so I went with Mickey <laughs> then the last pin I got was this one which my friend Tyler that um I was with in the parks and his fiance for um some of the trip said that he got this pin when it first came out in like 2007 and you know it's old because it still has the sorcerer's hat as the icon for um hollywood but i just thought it was cool i've always liked this pin I've seen it a couple times in people's collections um and i think i've seen it in the parks before too <laughs> i was like i kind of want it it's got the four icons for the four parks and then mini mickey and they spin <laughs> And it's like they're holding hands and even though it's an old pin and it's been around for so long i just felt like i needed it so i bought it so those are all of my pins so that is everything i have to show you actually today i also got quite a few popcorns so this is a clip of the caramel popcorn i got it's got chocolate pieces over the top of some of the pieces of popcorn and m ms in it and these next few that i'm showing you are from the germany pavilion at epcot it's the werther's original um popcorns that they have so the first one that i'm showing you is just the caramel one with the chocolate pieces and the second one features stroop waffle pieces in it too which is pretty cool so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you don't mind that there's going to be a lot more Disney World content coming in the future. Um, vlogs. I also have a Disney World Paris trip coming up, like I said, in March, so I will be showing you that as well. So lots and lots of Disney content coming in the next couple of months. Hope you don't mind that. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! Oh, also, um, I forgot to say, these bags, I bought these bags too. They're the 50th anniversary reusable bags. I bought the small ones. Um, I think they're very handy. I've got some of these from Disneyland Paris already, but these ones are pretty. They've got on one side the um, castle with all of the 50th characters that they have on the statues, iridescent, and then the other side has the 50th logo with Tinkerbell. So that was another thing I bought. <laughs> anyway, now I'm done. Goodbye everyone!